This is a great question to talk about how we can start to, when we get really good at arithmetizing, strategize about which numbers we pick, right? So I would be, I would definitely know I'm gonna arithmetize here. Yes, I know how to do the algebra, but I got a fraction, I gotta deal with an exponent. There's a lot of places to mess up. So I'm gonna use arithmetize and make up numbers for A and B. And when I do that, I'm, I'm kind of looking ahead. I'm like, all right, I could probably pick things that are gonna get me to one right answer. But it also could be really, really easy to just pick A equals zero and B equals two to start. If A is zero, that's gonna knock out most of the terms in my answer choices. And I see that I have two kinds of things going on. I've got B squared over two, B squared over two, or I've got B over four, B over four. So I know that I can at least get rid of two choices just by deciding between the b squared over two or the b squared over four, right? So if I make the a go away, I have less to focus on. But of course, I'm not gonna make b something like one, which seems like an easy number, because I see that I have a fraction here and I've gotta divide it by two. I'd really not, I don't wanna do that. So let's just see what happens, right? So if I put these numbers in, this becomes zero plus two over two squared. So zero is zero and then two over two is one, so this is one squared, so that's one, so that's my magic number. Now when I go to the choices, again, the zero, I kinda already know in my head is just gonna knock away all the A's, so let's just focus on the B squared parts. This would be uh, four over two, which is two, so that doesn't work. However, this is four over four, right? Two squared is four, four divided by four is one, so that works, but then that gets rid of C for the same reason as A, and make sure that D works for the same reason as B. So. Not a big deal. Okay, now what, right? Let's focus on the difference. The difference is right here in the middle of D, we have an AB term. So again, because I have a good knowledge of algebra, the arithmetize can be strategized a little bit more confidently, right? I know that I can't make A zero anymore because the A, the only difference is this term that involves an A, so I need to keep that term around. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna switch it a little bit. Let's turn A into the number one. Let's keep B as two, we don't need to mess with that, but let's make A one and that will help me see uh, whether or not I need this extra term or not. So let's see. So that becomes one plus, we said two over two is one, so that's two squared, that's four. So if we go to choice B, that's gonna be one squared is one, plus two squared is four, divided by four is one, so that's two. So we're a little short, right? But if we did that here, one plus one times two is two plus four over four is one, there it is. Not bad, not bad. So I get that this might be harder if you are not as confident with the arithmetized strategy because then you truly are maybe picking random numbers and you're ending up dealing with like multiple answers that work or maybe kind of messy arithmetic because there's so much going on in each of these answer choices. But this is why I keep saying, you've gotta get good at arithmetize even when it is not the optimal strategy, even when the algebra would be easier. So that way you're ready for stuff like this. You get comfortable, it becomes part of like the, the fabric of your SAT being, and then you don't have to think about it. It just becomes automatic. And then you can think about the more higher level aspects of the strategy. Which numbers do I pick? How do I compare the choices? What are the numbers that I pick gonna do to the choices? And then once I have multiple answers that work, what numbers should I change uh, to give me that one right answer, right? How can I pick smart numbers? But for the most part, for most of you, uh, just start off with zeros and ones and you'll be happy and be fine. But of course, if you see a fraction, avoid the fraction. Don't, don't, don't make decimals, right? Make your life easier by making the numbers as lazy as possible for whatever situation you're given.